You are launching a new variant of Secure, Secure Go, designed for teenagers. Why is a dedicated app needed for this particular audience? It has been apparent uh, to us for a long, long time that there is a, a whole consumer group or a part of the uh, population that has been completely neglected uh, when it comes to essentially electronic payment means. And it's funny because, uh, or weird I should say, because this is the group that is most active when it comes to using their mobiles and uh, for various, various reasons. Um, and, and the need was obvious, and then we just had to find out a way to, uh, to make it happen. Um, and uh, it took us uh, quite, a, quite a while. Uh, and um, we had to, to make it simpler and also, uh, be in, a, in a legal sense, be a correct tool for, for kids. In what way differs SecureGo from Ordinary Secure? And how do these differences make the app more suitable for teenagers? Well, there is uh, where you see the big difference. Uh, SecureGo is a uh, prepaid uh, account, or rather an electronic money uh, account under the electronic money license, uh, connected to a MasterCard. Uh, so the SecureGo app doesn't give the ability for a, a youth um, to connect the app to an existing bank account because that would be, um, would be very hard to do legally uh, because you, you can't really uh, sign that type of a contract with, uh, with a kid. You need the parents' approval for that. Um, so, so the important part here is that the, the account that is behind the, the app is a prepaid account that is r filled by somebody else. So the only way to fill up today uh, the SecureGo uh, account is by somebody, another secure user, transferring money to, to this particular telephone. We will add in, uh, in a little while a, uh, a, a card payment option so that you can top up the secure account with uh, a, a normal um, you know, debit or, or credit card. Um, so that so that is the main reason, and without that, that wouldn't this this simply wouldn't work. And I, I quite frankly, I think it's a, it's very good um, uh, that the uh, regulations uh, look like they do. Another um, uh, issue with the uh, secure go is that it's very very simplified. Um, it's basically two buttons. Uh, one, uh, you transfer money to your friends or family, and one, you pay. And that's it. Uh, secure, uh, the green secure, or the secure classic, or whatever you want to call it, is a, is a very uh, large platform with a lot of uh, capabilities that, that uh, I think suits uh, a grown-up life. And, and just as this suits the, uh, just as Secure Classic suits a grown-up life, Secure Go probably suits a, a youth uh, life, um, so to say. How will you attract young people to start using Secure Go? Well, that is, uh, of course, a very interesting uh, question because, um, well, clearly it hasn't been done before. Uh, this is the first. Um, um, payment, you know, a mobile app that they can pay with. Uh, but you have um, so special challenges when it comes to, to this group of consumers is that they are very hard to reach uh, through media. And also they're actually quite heavily regulated in what you can say and uh, how you can market to kids uh, in, in Europe and, and the US. So the fact is that we're not marketing it at all at the moment. But then, of course, if you download uh, SecureGo uh, today, uh, you get uh, three euros or 30 kronas uh, as a, a preload on your secure account, uh, which means that you can download this and go buy a couple of ice creams or a bag of chips or well, maybe something healthy too, a bag of carrots. Um, and so to try it. And then, of course, you run out of money, uh, and then somebody else has to, um, to transfer money to you via peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, so you could say that initially now we rely on, on, on viral spread, uh, that, that uh, a kid that 
has downloaded it and do all this, go down to the shop and, and, and buy something, will tell his friends or her friends. And uh, for, for this uh, consumer group, I would think that it's quite uh, attractive to first uh, pay with the mobile for the first time, it's sort of cool, and then get m money for, for doing it. So we shall see how much they tell their friends and they will, will, will do the same. If um, virality works, what we will see in a download uh, sense uh, is a, a very sort of flat curve uh, that will then turn exponential at some point. But before we can see this in any figures, it would probably take uh, three, four months, I would guess. Do you expect that Secure Go will get parents to start using regular Secure? I think compared to the current situation in, in society where most parents give their kids cash uh, that they have to um, um, use and have in their pockets and I don't know, they can get robbed and uh, you know the, you have no control over the, the kids spending, uh, where have they been, etc, etc. SecureGo uh, lends, uh, or, or rather it, it creates a, a, a much safer environment. So. We feel that uh, parents will probably want their kids to have secure go uh, because it's convenient. It's uh, you know the kid is uh, is away on uh, on a trip uh, or on a hockey tournament and they run out of money and they call and you can just uh, transfer money to them and immediately they ca they can pay, um, which works uh, wherever they are in the world. So if they are on a school trip or or something and they they get their wallet stolen, this this works. Uh, in, in real time uh, as well. So <clears throat> one vector is of course that the, the parents will ask the kids to download Secure Go due to all these reasons. But there is also another vector here of course and that is that kids uh, tend to be uh, the, the, the early adopters of the early adopters. And when, uh, when this youth uh, uses it, downloads it, uh, or rather in the other way around, downloads it and use it, finds it convenient, uh, which they will, uh, then they might ask their parents to, to download Secure Classic uh, in, in order for the parent to actually be able to transfer money, money to them. So at this point, we just simply don't know which, which vector will, will be the most, uh, the strongest one, uh, but we, you know, time will tell. In what markets are SecureGo available? Well, SecureGo is, uh, we made it available in uh, 15 markets at the same time. Uh, and uh, that's uh, our markets uh, besides uh, the US. Uh, the US will come a little bit later, um, and that has to do with uh, card issuing uh, in the US. It's, uh, it's not a technical problem, it's more a legal or bureaucratic uh, not a problem but a challenge I mean it's it's not even a challenge we used to have to go through the motions so uh, I would say you know six months from now but uh, it could be nine nine to it's US bureaucracy is uh, different